Chapter 1 Regarding Surah Sabah Farwah bin Musaik al-Muradi said, I went to the Prophet peace be upon him and said, O Messenger of Allah, shall I not fight those who turn away among my people along with those who believe? So he permitted me to fight them and made me their commander. When I left him, he asked me, saying, What has al ghutayfi done? He was informed that I set off on my journey. He said, so he sent a message on my route that I should return. I went to him and he was with a group of his companions. He said, Invite your people. Whoever accepts Islam among them, accept it from him. And whoever does not accept Islam, then do not be hasty until new news reaches you. He said, And what was revealed about Seba was revealed. So a man said, O Messenger of Allah, what is Seba? Is it a land or a woman? He said, It is neither a land nor a woman, but it is a man who had ten sons among the Arabs. Six of them went south in Yemen, and four of them went north toward Asham. As for those who went north, they are Lacham, Judam, Qassan, and Amila. As for those who went south, they are Azd, Ashairun, Himyar, Kinda, Madhij, and Anmar. A man said, O Messenger of Allah, who are Anmar? He said, Those among whom are Khadam and Bajila. This hadith is graded Hassan or good. Comments This hadith tells that Seba is the name of a man who was an Arab. He had ten children, six of them settled in Yemen and the remaining four settled in Syria. And thereafter, various tribal branches came to existence. Ghutayf is a branch of a tribe. Initially, the Prophet, peace be upon him, gave Farwa a general permission of fighting. But as he was leaving, the Prophet, peace be upon him, realized the need of explanation. So he, peace be upon him, called him back and gave a full explanation. Abu Huraira narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When Allah decrees a matter in the heavens, the angels beat their wings in submission to his saying, sounding as if it is a chain being dragged upon a rock. When the fear resides from their hearts, they say to each other, What did your Lord say? They reply, The truth. And He is the Most High, the Great. He said, And the Shayateen are one atop another. This hadith is graded Sahih or authentic. Footnote The verse, What did your Lord say? They reply, The truth. And He is the Most High, the Great, is from Surah Seba, Chapter 34. Verse 23 Comments This hadith informs that the matters of the worldly life are decided above in the heavens, and the angels accept to execute them wholeheartedly, as they receive the message regarding the divine decisions through a sound like that of a chain striking over a rock. So they become full of fear, and as soon as the fear goes away, they ask each other regarding the issued commandments, the angels who are close to the throne, Say whatever has been commanded is true. The devils stand on each other to listen to the commandment in order to pass the information to the fortune tellers. Ibn Abbas narrated, We were with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, while he was sitting with a group of his companions, when they saw a glowing shooting star. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, When you saw the likes of this during Jahiliyyah, what would you say about it? They said, we would say that a great man had died, or that a great man had been born. The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, It is not shot due to the death of anyone, nor his coming into life. Rather, when our Lord, blessed is his name, and most high, decrees a matter, he is glorified by the bearers of the throne. Then he is glorified by the inhabitants who are below them. Then those below them, until such glorification reaches this heaven. Then the inhabitants of the sixth heaven asked the inhabitants of the seventh heaven, What did your Lord say? He said, So they informed them. Then the inhabitants of each heaven seek the information, until the news is conveyed to the inhabitants of the heavens of the earth. The Shayateen try to overhear, so they are shot at. So they cast it down to their friends. Whatever they came with is true, as it is, but they distort it and add to it. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments The decision made above in the heavens 
as it reaches the worldly heaven stage after stage, the devils struggle to listen to it secretly, in case if they catch something of it which is correct, which the devils pass to the fortune tellers and the sorcerers, and then they, from themselves, add lies into it, as mentioned in a narration, hadith number 4805 of Sahih al-Bukhari, devils do so when they escape the target of the flaming fire of piercing brightness.